Welcome back to another GM Golf video. I'll be completely honest right now. We are actually filming this intro after the match. We didn't have time on the first tee box. We were a little bit rushed because we had some people uh, teeing off right behind us. So that's why we didn't do an intro on the first tee, but how are you feeling going into this rematch? I was feeling like I'm going to go into this. I'm going to try and play my best. I want to beat Garrett really bad. How about you? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, I'm feeling great going into this match. No, <laughs> obviously we're filming this after, but no, I was feeling dialed in. The swing, the game is feeling dialed in, so I'm ready to get after it. Yeah, we were on the range and I was just like I was hitting balls and then all of a sudden like Claire like freaks out for a second I'm like what just happened she got stung by a wasp so definitely not the thing you want on your practice session before a round of golf <laughs> but anyways guys let's get into this match if you guys haven't checked out the first match on the channel I believe we filmed it a while ago at Madeira's yes. golf club yeah her home turf in San Diego but we're switching it up today she's in Dallas we're at my home turf pecan hollow we're gonna get it going here on the front nine and see who takes the dub. Nine holes, match play, let's get into it guys. All right, first hole here guys, straight away par four, 370. I really just need to put one in the fairway, get it off to a good start in this match. Give myself a chance at birdie on this first hole. Get lucky. Left or off, should be okay. Nice ball, Claire. All right, straight down the center. Start. All right, solid drive from, from Claire on the first tee. She's kind of put the pressure on me on hole one. I'm over in the left trees. I'm, I'm not really sure the lie that I have, but she has 115 yards here. I'm going to be going with the pitching wedge. Not sure of my yardages today, really, but I know these greens are firm, so definitely don't want to go long. One-handed follow-through could end up being good. That's solid. Guys, I'm not really sure. It, it's probably the percentage play to go under the tree, but I'm thinking about just sending it over. A little fill flop. Hold on. Let's let's assess the lie. I might just send it. Might just go up and over, guys. Or I do the percentage play. I play smart. Yeah, it's probably not smart to go over. We're going with the 50 degree. I'm going to try and bump this into the hill. Give myself a putter burden. I think you should go over. We're going over. 53 yards, guys. Wow. That's just blows my mind. Sit. Okay. I got it over. We got to put a birdie, but I don't know, guys. Might not have been the smart play. This is kind of an easy hole, so having this far of a birdie look is not fun, but it's definitely a makeable putt. Right to left. Probably about 35 feet here. I know Claire's going to be making a lot of pars and some birdies in this round, so I got to keep the pressure on. Can't be making mistakes out here. Birdies are going to win holes today. Thank you. And for par. Put it. Good lord. I had a lot more break than I expected. I actually misread that. Like I thought it was moving the opposite way. So that's not a good line on that one. Speed was actually okay. Yeah, the speed was good. Gotta make this one to not go one down early. The unfortunate three putt from Claire on the first hole. Takes me to one up through one hole onto a little bit of a dog leg to the right, par four. I'm gonna let this one go. I'm actually gonna swing pretty hard at this ball. 420, if I hit a really good one, this one can go pretty far. Give myself a nice wedge shot into the green, so. That was gonna be pretty far up there, so I should have a little 58 degree into the green. Guys, I'm putting one in the fairway. Clear up here with the driver. over those trees I should be in good position have a shot at getting one back up on Claire's ball here about 100 yards middle of the fairway I got about 80 yards middle of the fairway both prime position a couple bombs on hole number two out here Chase I'm gonna try and muscle up a 54 degree wedge throw in the back of my stance and see if I can get it all the way to 100 I think I tend to max out at like 90 so we'll see how this works be good <laughs> do my best to make that one and get me back to all square 80 yards here i got the 58 degree she's in there about 10 feet so i gotta put one in there tight i thought i hit a perfect shot there and uh carried the green 
Not ideal. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what to say. Like, I looked up. It was going right over the top of the pin. And I was like, this is going to be so good. And, uh, well, carry the green. But I got to hit a flop shot here. This is actually a very tough shot. You know, I'm actually going to play a bump and run. I don't think I can stop this if I play a flop. Because these greens are hard and fast. I'll take that from down here. Hopefully I can make that for the par. This putt is right to left. I'm gonna have to find a way to make this. About three feet here. Looks fairly straight. Tie the hole. Keep it one up. Ooh. Thought for a second that was gonna lip out, but. Found the bottom of the cup. One up going into a par five, hole number three out here. Need to make a birdie. Guys, that was huge. That was a huge putt. That was a huge up and down. I thought when I hit it long in the green that I was probably gonna take an L on that hole, but staying one up, straight away par five. This is a very eagleable hole. I got the driver. I'm telling you, this match is gonna be competitive today. Like, we both really wanna win. She's been talking off camera in the cart. She's just like, she's like, I really wanna win. And I, and I do too, so it's gonna be a competitive match today. Yep, it should be perfect there, right up the center. It's good. Okay, so Garrett definitely has the advantage on this hole. He can reach it in two. I'm gonna have to find some way to run it up there. I know it's best to run it up there from the right side, so I think I'm just gonna aim over this kind of mushroom tree on the right side of the fairway and give myself a good angle in. Oh man. That was a pretty terrible swing. Rhythm got way off on that one. <laughs> Claire kind of pulled out the Garrett duck hook, but she's not in a great position. She does have a punch out shot into the fairway, par five. So Garrett can reach this hole in two. I heard his drive went in prime position, so I can't just, you know, play safe out there. I'll literally lose the hole to a birdie. So I have this little gap here. <laughs> it's a very small gap, and that would get me kind of a wedge in where I could get up and down for birdie rather than out here where I'd have a three wood and I wouldn't even be able to reach. That is the beauty of match play. I hit it in the fairway and now she just knows she has to get aggressive. She has to go for broke. She got to play the aggressive punch shot, give herself a wedge into the green and get up and down. So we'll see if she can do it. My longest iron is a five iron. I don't know if that'll go far enough or low enough. So we're going to try and just punch a three wood. I've done it before and it's worked out. So hopefully that happens again on this shot here. Wait. No! Stay short of the tree. We are fine. You're gonna be okay. Kind of missed the ball a little bit. Fine. I thought she actually stopped in the in the rough, but she made it to the fairway. So all in all, not a bad shot at all. I got like 215 yards in this par five. A little into the breeze. It's gonna be a full five iron or an easy four. Definitely full five. Got the full five iron, but I'm gonna swing hard and hope I get it there. Wow, oh no. Go. Please God, no. Bunker. It's 200 yards for me. That's pretty much my carry on my three wood. If I wanna try to go over the bunker, but then who says it's gonna stop on the green? So the other option is I play kind of like a, a long sweeping draw up the uh, right side of the green there where the opening is, no bunker guarding it with a hybrid. I'm gonna try and pull this off, see if I can hit the green. Definitely overcooked the hook there. Um, not looking good for me. Let's see if I can somehow miraculously turn it around. I have not a lot of green work with. Essentially, I, I pretty much need to make this. It's my fourth shot. So I gotta make this to have a real chance at it. Going high with the, uh, the 58 degree witch. Guys, I actually wasn't as short as I thought, a little more less than anything, but I have a little bunker shot here to get up and down for the birdie, see if I can do it. All right. Not the best, but I got a putt at it. That's pretty much all I wanted from there. If I make mine, my par putt, and he misses his birdie putt, we can still have the hole. So I gotta find a way to track this in there. Right. 
If I two-putt this, guys, I take it to two up, through three. Guys, a little birdie on the uh, third hole. Feels good to roll in a putt, but currently two up, through three, onto a dogleg left, par four. All right, guys. 404 yard par four, dogleg to the left. I'm gonna stay aggressive. I got the driver, trying to kind of send one up the uh, left side, downwind, so we can get pretty aggressive on this line. Wow, so good. Good. Right up the middle. Garrett definitely brought his game today. <laughs> We're kind of racing the storm right now. Gonna have to play somewhat quick because I think that is about to hit us. I got a really nice kick. Hopefully that puts me in a good position for birdie and I could make one. That would really help the spirits right about now. Guys, 99 yards, maybe like 95 yards. I got a 58 degree. I hit this way through the fairway. Honestly, with this wind, you could have almost gone at the green, but not in the greatest position after hitting a pretty good tee shot. But kind of a weird lie, gonna have to hit down on it. That should be pretty good. I gotta put a birdie. I chunked it. That one came out way hotter than I thought it was. I chunked it. I took all the spin off of it. Walking up to the green. I actually have a pretty good look at it, maybe about 25 feet short. Claire, she's in the sprinkler head, so she'll be able to take relief from there. Still a pretty solid position because she's got a pretty straightaway chip. I'm gonna go ahead and putt this because it's all down green and I think that'll take some of the guesswork out of it. A little left to right here. Almost made it guys. I got a pretty straight uphill putt. Honestly, if I hit a good putt, I I'm very confident that I can maybe make this one. Good par. That was clutch, guys. That was clutch. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> you never know. I've missed a few of those before. So we are on to a par three, a little down breeze through four holes. I'm currently two up still. All right, 195 yards, guys. It's probably blowing like 25 miles an hour downwind. So this is playing probably 165, 170. I got a nine iron actually. Should be pretty full here. Be good. Be the number. Come on. No. <laughs> wow. A little short, but gotta put a birdie. All right, guys. It is pretty downwind. Garrett just stuck it in there, super tight. Pedal to the metal for him for sure today. Got 176 to the pin. I'm gonna play it like 15 yards down. I'm going with the six iron, and hopefully that works. too much club it's kind of hard to gauge it in the wind here I'm off the back not looking good for me all right guys off the back here I need a miracle I really need to chip this in he's cleaning up his ball mark for his like 15 footer for birdie so oh. all right guys down the hill left to right for my birdie on this par three A little bit of a misread, but I'll take a par on that hole for sure. This is like a 12 footer to have the hole. Bruh. Hey, you never know, you never know, guys. She still has a chance, guys. We are on to the sixth hole of the day. I'm currently three up. The swing's feeling dialed though. We'll see if we can keep swinging it well on these last four holes. You never know though. Claire is not out of it, okay? She might be three down with four to play, but crazier things have happened. Guys, on to the sixth hole of the day. Par four, wind off the right. This is actually a very, very long and tight hole. Very long and tight. 487 to be exact. So, gonna try and pipe this one. Uh. 
up and out of it. Not a great swing there, guys. Well, this hole is long. 185 to the pin for me. Like he said, it is a long hole. He's off looking for his ball. We're not exactly sure where it's at yet. Am I have the hybrid? I'm gonna aim out at the right edge of the green because the wind is blowing. I've got a putt at birdie for I think like the first time today pretty much other than the first hole, so. We're kind of confused. I hit my ball over at these right trees and the right rough. There's no tall grass over here or anything. And we just couldn't find my ball. So, instead of going back to Ricci, hitting my third shot and potentially making bogey at best, I'm going to concede the hole for Claire because she's in there pretty tight for her birdie. And par is pretty much good enough to uh, win this hole. So, it's unfortunate. I hate conceding holes after tee shots like that. But we're going to be on to uh, the seventh hole of the day. And she's still two down. Guys, dog leg left, hole number seven, really short par four. I'm gonna hit driver, it's probably not the smart play, but I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Gotta keep playing aggressive today. Not good? Could be. Pretty short hole here. I'm gonna just take the driver, probably right at the pin, if not right edge of the green. Put it. I think you're fine. I got lucky. I thought I was gonna be over in this stuff. I got 55 to the pin. Garrett says it's gonna run out, so I'm probably gonna wanna land it like 45. Go. Yeah, my nice shot. My ball actually ended up in the left side of the fairway. Pretty solid tee shot here. I got 39 yards. Claire put one in there pretty tight for a birdie, so pressure's on. Got about 12 feet for the birdie, and if I make this, I have a chance at actually winning. Not a good putt, guys. All right, if Claire makes this, she goes one down with two to play. Two up, two to play. We got a par three and a par five. If Claire wants a chance at winning, she's got to win the next two to uh, send it to a playoff hole. We'll see what happens. Hole number eight, second to last hole. I'm guessing it's about 175. Neither of us have a range finder today, so I'm just more worried about where the wind's at. I don't know if it's down or into it. That's the one thing. Be good. Oh, quit turn. Okay. Misjudged it just a, just a hair, but should have a putt. Even a tie on a hole could end the match, so I either have to birdie or better and hope that he doesn't do the same. I got an eight iron here, it's 135. Just hope that's the right number. Put a good swing on it and uh, make the putt. Sit. Looks like a 10 footer. Guys, a little left, just off the green. Claire put one in here pretty tight, about 12 feet, so I gotta assume she's gonna make that. Left to right here, guys. This will seal the deal if I make it, right here. Thought I had it, guys. Gosh, that scared Ooh. me. <laughs> well, guys, she wants to play the last hole, she's gotta make this. Go! Okay. Good match, well played. Guys, I thought she did it for a second. Just left it short in the heart. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that nine hole match where Claire and I faced off in a rematch. If you guys haven't checked out the first match, you guys should probably watch it, but now it is currently tied up one to one. I think eventually we're gonna need to do a final match to decide the best two out of three little series. Yeah. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Claire's social media, I will link it in the description down below, her Instagram and YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for more content coming soon on the GM Golf channel. I believe I just finished up all my content from Georgia, so sadly, no more Georgia content. If you want to see more content with Claire, let me know in the comments down below, and stay tuned for all of the uh, new content coming up. Till next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Peace out.